girls, welcome back. Thank you for clicking to watch this. Hope you all uh, subscribe to future videos. Today I'm uh, making a video making flasher rigs for snapper fishing that I'll be targeting this year. Missed out last year, had pancreatitis, a bit sick and uh, much better now. Uh, yeah, so this is one I just made previously. And this is the end product. Pretty simple once you work it out, it's not that hard. Um, fly vice, whipping tool, bobbin tool you need, scissors, glue. This is UV activated glue. There's the UV lights. These are all rigs that I've made previously. I'll show you some of them. This one I've improvised and put some eyes on it. You can try whatever you want. Here's another one. I use some silicon strips and just cut them up. Try different things, there's nothing wrong with trying. Experimenting out there, this is a double hook. Chuck the squiddy over it, little limo one. Another one, um, usual flasher rigs, different colors. I thought, you know, just like lures, try different colors, different conditions, different times of the day, I don't know. So purple, you name it. Single hooks, even gang hooks. I could have made this longer, but um, yeah, just chuck a squid, blue mass squid over it. Use another gang hook. Whole heap of different ones. You can use these limo squids uh, to put over them. Different color threads. Try whatever you want. This is another double. Whatever your imagination comes up with, you can try it. Different tens tensiles you can get. Different color, many colors out there. A lot of tackle shops uh, carry them these days. Um, bought some from Complete Angler, bought some online. Whole heap, all different colors. Whatever your imagination comes up with, whatever you desire, try it. This is something um, that I came up with, <laughs> just gonna experiment. For the soft plastic, uh, just put a bit there and put the, you know, the, Soft plastic over it, and I don't know. I'm gonna try it. Nothing wrong with trying, it doesn't hurt. So, I'm gonna start off 5 0. It's my usual size hook that I use. That's the owner. I do use Gunagatsu, only quality hooks. Don't bother with cheap hooks. I've had them break in the past, those cheap eBay ones. It's not worth buying. Get quality stuff, they last and perform. To what they're meant to so i use a vice fly vice it is good to have they're not that expensive uh, this one i got around 50 bucks online they spin around so as you're working and gluing and that um, it's not as intricate as fly fishermen what they make but um same scenario so start off with the thread start off at the back here nice and tight Hold the other bit at the front there like that and just weave it along to make a base roughly you know 10 mil or so. So yeah. Cut the excess off. Um what colours? We'll just do random colours. Actually, what I'll do on this one. I haven't done a black and silver one. I'll start with black as the base. And it will show up as I'm weaving much better probably. All right, just measure out how much you want. Roughly there. Look, I usually cut it on an angle. I've worked this out for myself what works best because um, I'll show you in a minute. What happens is if you cut it flat and at the front after you put multiple colors because you can put three four colors if you want you know two on top one on the side on either side and it gets bulkier so when you cut it on the side like this on an angle sorry it just makes it a better point at the front instead of being bulky and gets harder to run the thread over it so start off you know just line it up soft and then tighten up as you go towards the front
You can go over it multiple times, so don't worry. Don't worry about those loose bits sticking out here and there because the fish aren't going to complain. They're not going to look at your workmanship and go, nah, I'm not touching that. They're going to hopefully smash it. Haven't snapped the fish in a while, so yeah, looking forward to it. So that's step one. I'm going to add on another colour. I'm going to go black and silver on this one. I haven't done a black and silver one. Uh, roughly there. Kind of a bit of an angle. Cut these little bits off out of the bin. Does make a mess when you cut it. These rigs also work for multiple species. I got my good mate up the coast. Big shout out to Tony, to Dio, and Jason from Country to Coast Fishing. Quality fishermen, very informative. Look them up on Facebook, they're big, man. They got 100,000 plus followers, and mate, the guy's just a freak fisherman. Great guys, known it for years. But uh, yeah, so. That's the two colors. I could always add on, say, a bit of pink. All right, look, I'll, I'll do it for demonstration purpose. This is what I'm talking about, adding on more colors. I'll just put a bit on the side there. This is just for you guys to see what I'm talking about. Using the fly bias, turn it onto the side. I've seen this through uh, Fly Fisherman. And uh, yeah, I thought, you know what, I'll try it. Fly Fisherman do some crazy rigs, some crazy lures that I've seen online. I haven't attempted any of those because there's uh, great detail on those things. And I'll probably struggle when I first start. But I'll get there one day. When I fly fish, I haven't done it. Done it years ago. Just didn't catch anything. That's the truth. <laughs> um, okay, so that's one on that side. Just cut another bit. You can do whatever you fancy, whatever you desire, try it. And it's not as hard as it looks. Just load her up. Look, I know most tackle shops supply these. And it's easier just to go buy them, but it's fun and satisfying to make your own and try different colours. See what works for you. Okay, so you can see what I mean. There's silver now up the top, pink on the sides, black underneath. Nothing wrong with trying. So now I'll get the whipping tool. I just do it like this. You can um, do it without that tool, you know, spin it around, do a half hitch or granny knot, whatever you want to call it. But um, this tool is pretty convenient. I'm sure I'm doing it right. If I'm not, comment. Let me know if there's any other better way or easier way. This seems to work for me. I do three or four just to make sure it's locked in. And then we glue it. And it's simple as that. There you go. Move that out of the way so you can see. Cut the line off. Now we glue it. All right, so here, yeah, like I said, I use this glue. It's a UV activated resin. Dries tough as nails, this thing. Once it dries, it's like a plastic coating. 
I use this to brush it on, just a nozzle, it's got a thin nozzle on it. You can use a brush, you can use a little tool, whatever you want. This works for me. Spread it all over, make sure it's all over it before you activate it, because once it goes hard, you can't change it. coated if you do get excess um, glue on it it'll bulge up and uh, just get a tissue or something as it's bulging up there just so it doesn't drip and hang when it dries This works for me, uh, there probably is other ways of doing this, but um, they haven't failed me. And now we activate it. I'll use a Lumo light, plus this, just on top, the one that came with. It doesn't seem to be as strong as the Lumo one, but it works. And yeah, it takes about 30 seconds or so, and it goes hard. You can use um, different materials, like I use, I made this earlier, and this has uh, got like a rubbery flasher thing, like this, and it's silicon. Got a whole heap of different colours. Just use your imagination, try different things, there's nothing wrong with it, you're not going to be punished for it. Make different colours and try what works on a day. Paternoster, strain, whatever you want to do, float line in. They work, they're great, great for snapper. And that was my phone, it's not aliens. That should be rock hard, yeah. You don't have to trim the ends off, I like to just to make it look neat. That's it, look at that. Rock hard. Now you can see what I've done here. They're roughly all the same length. You don't have to cut it off, I will, just to make it look neat and tidy. Give me a sec. Uh, yeah, just cut them off like that. There you go, so we've got a pink stripe on the side, black underneath, silver on top. You could use this for many many species you know so think of your lures that you use what you'd like to try guys appreciate you watching hope this was helpful and hit the like button and subscribe for future videos guys appreciate it there you go stay safe and tight lines